it's Steven from Steve's Wrestling Journey, and we have another, we have a guest for Steve's 3 this time, not Turbuckle Talk. It's a Steve's 3. He is a returning appearance. Chris Van Bolin! Thank you so much for having me back on the show. Always good to chat with you, my friend. Always good to chat with you. This is actually a special Steve story because it's called Steve Three about WrestleMania. Okay. Because many, if you don't know, Chris Van Vliet attended WrestleMania this year. Mm. This, by, by the way, Stephen, this was the eleventh WrestleMania that I've been to. Yeah, I know that. So it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and I live in Los Angeles. It is in Los Angeles next year, so I guess that'll be number twelve. I'll see you there. See you there. Hopefully, cross my fingers. Okay. Uh, let's see. My first question is: You just went to your eleventh WrestleMania. What was your favorite moment while you were there? I think the biggest moment of the night was finding out who Seth Rollins' opponent was. You know, the lights went out. Everybody's thinking, "We hope it's going to be Cody Rhodes." There he is. We hope it's going to be Cody Rhodes. That's what the rumors are, but. They could throw us a curveball. Maybe it's Bray Wyatt. Maybe it's just the Undertaker comes out. Maybe it's somebody else. So I think everyone thought it was Bray Wyatt because they started doing their flashlight thing. Mm, That's true. So I think that when Cody Rose music hit and it was not only him, but the American Nightmare version of him, where it was the AEW version of him, I think that that was really exciting. I will give you a bonus one here. Seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin compete again after 19 years was very exciting. So from the time that glass shattered to him with the beer baths, amazing. I actually, you know, I, I'm good friends with Kevin Owens. Mm-hmm. And I know personally, because I know him, uh, that he that he is so thankful that he got to wrestle Stone Cold on his last match, because he's like his like all-time favorite, one of his all-time favorites. That was amazing. So that was, I'll give you two there. So yeah, the Cody appearance and then Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I do have to ask you a question about a twisty tourney, perhaps. Ooh, okay. Uh, what was your favorite ever WrestleMania moment out of the 11 WrestleManias you've been to? That one's easy. WrestleMania 18 in Toronto. It was called Skydome at the time. And it's my favorite match of all time. Brock Hogan. Rock was the good guy going into this match and Hogan was part of the NWO. But when they got there and they were doing that epic stare down, I still get goosebumps when I talk about it. The crowd was so excited to see Hulk Hogan that they turned on the rock and started cheering Hulk Hogan. And the crowd reaction made that match what it is, what it was. And I don't know if we'll ever see a crowd like that ever again. I don't think we have till this day. It's been like 20, it's been, it's been how many years? 20. 20 years. Sheesh. Number two, WrestleMania, well, technically, number three, WrestleMania is taking place next year in Hollywood. Knowing all of the players now in WWE, what would you your dream match for both opponents and type of match? I think there's been a lot of rumors around this and the rock is basically saying he's not done with wrestling. He's going to make a return. The, the rock, rock is ba- throwing rings, right? Well, that's what we're thinking. The rock's basically saying he's not done. And it's just a matter of when he comes back, not if he comes back. So I think the rock he's, you know, Mr. Hollywood. He's one of the fam- most famous people in the world. I think that the rock in his now adopted hometown of Los Angeles, Hollywood versus Roman Reigns, his cousin. I think that if that's The Rock's final match, by the way, The Rock turns 50 in like three weeks. So I think The Rock being 50, having his final match in Hollywood against his cousin, I think that there's a lot of things that add up there. So I don't, I feel like that's what we're going to end up seeing. What's the stipulation? I think it's just a straight up match. Who knows? Who knows it? Because I don't know if it makes sense for it to be a title match. That, that's, what, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I, what we thought was going to happen at this WrestleMania was he was going to come out say, I don't even care about your belts, Roman. Mm. 
What even happened to you? You're enslaving our cousins like that? Mm. If we're having a match next WrestleMania, then whoever wins gets the cousins. If I win, the cousins are free. If you win, you can keep them. I, I kind of felt like the Rock was either going to cost Roman Reigns the match or that the Rock, I think everyone was kind of expecting that the Rock's music was going to hit after Roman Reigns won and he was celebrating. That didn't happen. So now it's a question of when do we see the Rock? Do we I, see him at SummerSlam? Do we see him at Survivor Series? Do we see him on Raw? I think we don't see him till next year at the Royal Rumble. Honestly, my dad thought something like you, except it was a little bit different. He thought The Rock was going to come out after, and celebrate, smiling, coming to the ring. Roman was going to smile. He's going to handshake him, but he's going to go, nope. Mm, well, we'll see what happens because I think that we're going to see a moment like that. It's just a matter of time. Just can't wait. You've been to 11 WrestleManias, as we've talked about. Which one has been your favorite and why? Boy, I hate to sound like a broken record, but the fact that I went to my first one in our hometown in Toronto with, I mean, when you look at that card, it's incredible. Like I got to see not only The Rock and Hulk Hogan, but Kevin Nash was there. Scott Hall was there. Kurt Angle had a match. Kane, there was uh, Chris Jericho and Triple H in the main event. Trish Stratus was there. Like that from top to bottom was incredible. So who was the main event? The main event was Chris Jericho versus Triple H. I thought it was I thought it was always like just Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. And this is a little fun fact for you. They weren't even the second last match. They were the third last match. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it's it's that. Like look, WrestleMania is special no matter what year it is, whether you're there or whether you're watching it on TV. Like it's it's a special event. You know, it's like watching the Super Bowl. It's special. But for me, it was the fact that that was my first ever one, you know, arguably the best match or the biggest match of all time and got to be there. That's crazy. You would never think Hulk Hogan and The Rock, those two paired up, would be fighting. That was the thing. That was the dream match, right? It was the best from this generation versus the best from the last generation. And the funny thing is, Stephen, if you were to talk to somebody who doesn't know anything about wrestling and you were to stop them on the street and say, name two professional wrestlers, good chance they're going to say The Rock or Hulk Hogan. Maybe they'll say Stone Cold. Maybe they'll say The Undertaker. But like, those are the iconic figures in pro wrestling. And to be able to see them go head to head, it's amazing. <laughs> To be honest, you said Scott Hall was there. I just wanted to say Rip because he was a legend. He was a legend. Yeah. And uh, what he did in the business is, you know, the reason that a lot of people are in it. So, yeah, an absolute legend. And it's, it's taken from us far too early. Yep. 